Hey, hey, are you still down at the shops? Ah, oh, sick. Um, if, could you grab us some bananas and oats, please? Cheers. And if they have any 18 inch TE37s in limited edition black, uh, 10 and a half wide with an offset of plus 10. Yeah, set of four. Yeah. Oh, they're all special. Sick. Yeah, grab those two. Alrighty, I'll see you in a bit. Bye. What is going on guys? Uh, so today, it's doomsday baby. So today we are getting the Brembos. I've got the car up on jacks at the moment. Um, I did get a little bit ahead of myself, started taking that front wheel off, but then I forgot I had to film it. So, take all the wheels off the car, or just this, this side anyway. And then we're gonna look at what it takes to fit WRX Brembo's to a Subaru Liberty. The ins, the outs, the do's, the don'ts. Um, the do's, the don'ts. Do I even know what the do's are? No, not really at all. So we are going to learn together. They look like they came with some dog bones in the box. I'll have to go get them. So I'm going to take the rears off and see if they actually fit. Take the fronts off, see if they actually bolt up, see if they fit. And then the biggie, see if the wheels clear see if the wheels clear. No, but really, uh, if the wheels don't clear, we're gonna have to get new wheels sometime down the track anyway. Or potentially run spaces, maybe. Not really my thing at all. I actually find it really cringe, but anyway, let's see how we go. Let's get the wheels off the car. We're running out of daylight. We'll see if we can knock this over relatively quickly. Well, let's go. Alrighty, so we have got the wheels off now. That is the front, uh, the back is also off. So we're gonna have to take this rotor off, take this caliper off, and then test the rotor and the caliper, basically. Test, test if it fits. So to do that, we are just going to have to crack this nut here, and then this one, you're not gonna be able to see it. Oh, well, maybe, maybe you can see it. Ah, that's it, there. Oh, there. So that's the top one. So they are the two main calipers that hold that one in. And then the rears are, I'll show you for the sake of it. Don't really know much about this end um, because I'm reading online, there's gonna be some umming and ahhing with the handbrake. Um, I don't know what we're gonna do with that yet. So basically it's the same sort of thing. You're not gonna be able to see it at all, 100%. But there's two bolts in the back of this. You, base, you need a massive extension. You need like, a huge extension on your socket and um, and we'll take it off. So let's go inside, get the calipers, start, start working some magic. Let's see how we go. <laughs> Still got my Japanese newspaper. <laughs> Definitely keep here. So I've gone ahead and cracked these bolts. One previously because of when I painted these and two just for this video because if you've ever done, ever not undone brake bolts, crazy. Set up potentially like set aside hours. Anyway, I've done them hand tight just for the sake of this because I didn't want to have to do that. And then, man, I get so excited every time I take these out. They look so sharp, god damn. Let's go ahead and get this off. It shouldn't take too long, and then um, we'll get started on the other side. Two. All right, so that should. This brake is completely loose. The bolts, obviously, here and here. And for now, I'm just gonna sit them on something I prepared earlier, which is three boxes of golf balls and a piece of wood. 
We're gonna need to get this rotor off. Don't be like me and just start bashing at it for a while. Get a small flathead screwdriver and wedge it in here. And there's one on the other side. And pop this off. And pop this off like that. Okay. So my whole rotor just came off um, because I cracked this just earlier on. But that cover covers up this hole here and this hole here. And what you can do is get a bolt like that, just a plain regular bolt. Um, I think it's an air, it looks like an M10. I'm not sure. Um, and just screw it in and just keep screwing it. All it does is press against the back of the wheel hub assembly and it'll just pull your rotor straight off. And then if it needs more convincing, convince it. But apart from that, then your, your rotor can come straight off like that. All right, so we're down here hanging out. This is gonna get a little bit technical for guys from, I'm not really sure, but probably, I'm assuming specific to Liberties, I, I think, not really sure. But this is my current rotor, and these are my current bolts that hold my caliper on, the, the two main bolts, okay? These, this is an STI rotor, this is a Brembo caliper, and these are the bolts that go that connect here on the caliper, here and here. Okay, so when you buy a set of Brembo's, you need these bolts. These bolts that are currently in your car will not fit, they are a different pitch. If you want to buy these bolts brand new, they're about $80 or something each. So if you're buying a set of Brembo's, get the bolts. These look like they are the same, they are not. Um, you will need new rotors. This is a 300, someone will correct me on this, I think, 316 mil rotor. This is a 326 mil rotor. So there's not much in it, there's 10 mil in it. Um, I think you'd probably be able to bolt this caliper on to there and it probably would work. But your problem lies when you flip this over and flip this over here. So this circle here is 190 mil, I think. And this circle here is 200. So that's that extra centimeter. What happens is when you bolt this rotor on, these parts right here, here and here, they will scrape on the rotor. They will foul on this inner ring because it's too narrow. There's probably a couple ways around this. You could just angle grind those down. Um, or you could just buy the correct rotors in the first place. For now, I'm gonna mock them up with the correct ones. I'm probably gonna buy new slotted STI ones anyway, because I wanna. <laughs> anyway, let's chuck these on and actually see if these bad boys are gonna fit. And we'll see how we go. Brembo is on um, and we have nice movement which is good that is all good this is good signs this is going well everything is going well this is all going well time to get the wheel this is going extremely well this is all going very well everything here is going well everything here is going really well everything here is going well. Oh, everything's not going well. Oh, it's going horrible. Not well. Well, anyway, I'm deleting the channel. Um, it was, um, it's been a good run. What, like six episodes? Um, yeah. Man, seriously! Not going well at all. Uh, the wheels do not clear the Brembo's. We're just touching. Alrighty, well, I'm gonna try and get this fitted the best I can. 
and at least maybe measure this gap to see if I wanted to put these on for now, what size spacer I would need to run. Um, but long term, we're just going to have to get wheels that clear Brembo's. <laughs> oh well, I guess that's the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs> Alrighty, so back caliper, a little bit of a different story. Um, to get this off, a bit of a pain in the butt. Now look at this. It is directly behind this, this here, basically. To take this off, uh, and then you'll be able to reach in behind it with a long extension bit, and then we can go from there. Uh, I've just taken the back of the, the two bolts on the back off. They are the two bolts there. I am yet to confirm whether they are the same or not the same as the Brembo bolts, uh, like how the fronts were different. Um, so this caliper should come off with some, oh, with some push Get your bolt, bolts, whatever, and screw them into the appropriate holes and your rotor will come straight off on its own. I'm going to do this in real time so that you can see this stuff up. I don't even, I don't know if that's going to give me a problem. Holy sh**. I didn't like the sound of that. Today we're going to show you how to replace the rear brake pads and rotors for a Subaru Legacy between the years of 2003 and 2009. Now we can remove the caliper mounting assembly. Yes, I've done that. Next we're going to use these bolts as a sort of press to get the rotor off of the hub. I've done that. Surely you're gonna come now, baby. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's what you get. Ooh. Once again, this just shows that I really don't have much clue. Um, I just watched a YouTube video on how to get that off when really you just have to pull it off. This is the dog bone adapter here. Um, this bolt and this bolt hole is where the regular caliper bolts through. And then this bolt and this bolt is where our new Brembo's go through. Um, I really have no idea whether this is going to work and this is 100% like a learning curve for me, anyone else that is doing this. Um, so this may or may not work. Uh, there might be a right and a wrong way of doing this. Very likely I'm not doing it how you would do it. All right, dog bone. He's on there, finger tight. So, dog bone adapter here, Brembo caliper, um, mounting holes here. So they sit there and there. Pretty sure that the new rotor is bigger. That is my old one sitting on top of the new one. You can see it's probably about 20 mil larger in total. So that heat shield, um, <laughs> that heat shield is about to die. Is this the right thing? I'm not sure. Ah! For now, um, I've looked behind here and sized it up, like, that's bang on, like, right on that dog bone, and that is like, money! So, intermission for a hot cinnamon Nutella chocolate donut. That is so freaking good. That is ridiculous. Okay, so I've just pulled my handbrake up, and it felt looser. No, well it's definitely worked, that's harder to pull. So I've just pulled that a bit further. Yeah, that's on now. All right, so I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that is, um, I'm thinking 
I'm thinking that is just a bigger chamber, so you need to pull it further. So potentially after this, I'll just need to re-tighten my um, handbrake. Um, let's get all this taken off, get all the old stuff put on. Um, I might not bore you with that because it's going to be boring. And then we can sit down and plan what we're gonna do. I'm really happy with all of that actually. I'm so happy that those dog bones fit and everything else is mint. Oh, let's do it. Oh, all right, we are done for this video. Apologies for this video if it was a bit dry. Um, it was it was genuinely meant to be informative because if there's people like me out there, which I know that there is because I just know that there is. I know that these <laughs> people want to ask dumb questions or just want to know all of the answers. And I'm one of those people. 100%. So this was all a learning curve. I had no idea whether this was going to work, not work, what to do. I've done some research, but really, who knows until you actually hit. So starting from the front and working our way back, if you're doing a Brembo brake upgrade on your car, on your Subaru, if it's a Legacy, Liberty, whatever. First thing, you're going to need new front rotors because your, Brem your new Brembo rotors will foul on your old rotors. Um, they will fail on the inside and actually scrape. On top of that, you are going to need wheels that fit. Unfortunately, mine do not. Somewhere before we get to the fully rear, bolts. Bolts is a biggie. I don't know it from personal experience. I do know for a fact now that Brembo's have their own pitch. And so if you're buying a set of Brembo's, you need the hardware that bolts them up. Like I said, I don't know firsthand, but I have read on the forums that if you want to buy these bolts, you probably could just find the right bolts with the right pitch, but if you want the bolts that came with the Brembo's, they are like something crazy, like 50 or $60 a bolt. Uh, don't quote me on that. I'm just going off what I read on Club Liberty, and that is an extremely reliable and trustworthy source, and it's never wrong. So take that with a grain of salt. So at the back, the back is easy as, no worries. Those calipers are gonna bolt straight on. Um, once again, got lucky, got the dog bones included. Uh, I wasn't sure whether they were like Liberty specific or whether whatever else. I don't believe they are. Um, they look pretty generic. These are the ones that came and they came, I don't even know, they came off something. I'm pretty sure it was a WRX. Um, apart from that, you are going to need new rear rotors. The rear rotors compared to my stock rear rotors are about 20 millimeters larger. Um, the handbrake diameter is the exact same size. Um, although it was a little bit looser on the actual handbrake feel itself when I had it mounted. So that's probably gonna be just a bit of a teething problem as we go. Uh, I'll probably do both of the rears and then feel my handbrake, see how it works, see how we go, and then adjust the handbrake cable from there. Once again, informative video this time. Not so much of a fun video. It was fun, but it was also, well, expensive, I guess is the right word. If you've got any questions or if you want to know anything or if you want me to try anything while it's off, hit me up. Um, as far as colors go, unsure because um, I would like to have the color matched to the appropriate wheel that I choose in the future. And that is still undecided uh, because, um, because. Give this video a like if it helped you out. Don't like it if it didn't help you out. Anyway, I'll see you on the next one. Boy. Ever since you shut the door on everything we knew, you're too late for love. Good in a teller on the ground. God damn that is good!